So you built one of Isaac 879s, otherwise known as Isaac Chesto, uh, one of his camera sliders. Boy, howdy. It's a great camera slider. Nano, Bluetooth, battery powered with 12 volt. It's amazing. And you don't know necessarily how to control it. Well, this video introduces you to the Raspberry Pi powered Bluetooth enabled controller. So it's in two parts. We're going to talk about first the slider, then the Bluetooth. So slider part for maybe a couple minutes. Isaac's slider. Wow. It's Arduino Nano powered. It's got Bluetooth. It supports the uh, JY31, but I'm using an HC05 because that's what I could get. It wasn't backward. Um, it's fine. It, it, uh, it's a drop and a replacement. Uh, it's 3D printed out of PLA and my PLA shrunk a bit. So Isaac's design is really super zero tolerance. And I had to drill out quite a few of the holes and I ended up actually, I gave up actually on these brackets. I just glued them. Don't tell anyone, don't tell Isaac. I'm using a 500 millimeter uh, piece of the 2040 extrusion. Uh, I have a one meter piece coming uh, sometime in January. Who knows, who knows when it'll get here. Using a uh, 3S LiPo battery. These things scare the hell out of me. I have six of them. Uh, I did drone work about four years ago and now all this guy and his five brothers are sitting downstairs in my battery bunker, just waiting patiently. They're pretty happy if you keep them at the uh, balance discharge level. Um, but then if they get below that, they get really angry. So I hooked up this uh, little battery buzzer just to uh, make absolutely sure that that guy doesn't go too far down into the depths of hell. And last but not least, the circuit board is of note. You know, if you're going to do your own circuit board, <laughs> good luck. Isaac provided a, uh, a PCB design that you can just really send over to jail PCB and for about, uh, you know, with shipping 12, 15 bucks, you get five of these guys and you just mount, you know, solder some stuff on there and you mount the pieces in there. All the parts are available on Amazon and all pretty much listed on uh, Isaac's website. And voila, you'll need, uh, you know, those JST connectors. I happen to have all those uh, because no internet video would be complete without a guy complaining about the thing he got for free and how it needs to be better. <laughs> Did I say I have a super nerd crush on how great this design is? It's amazing. Isaac Chasto. Jeez. I want to be his friend. Now, the problems I had, however, uh, starting with number one, and then our, the nano code, which I fixed, uh, super easy to fix. I needed a semaphore to let me know when uh, the board was ready to receive its next serial command. Not a big deal. I just put in two dashes. But boy, the code on there, it is crammed in there. There is hardly any extra room to add flourish. If you uh, try to add too much more Arduino code onto that board, it uh, it's too much. <laughs> but thankfully, I was able to sneak in a couple of dashes at the end of a command complete. Probably the most important, um, but gosh, again, how do you complain for something that's free? This bracket is too narrow. I can't fit my iPhone in there. Uh, so instead, I'm going to just create a three, design a 3D printer bracket to have the camera sit out in front. And... It'll be fine. Oh, look, you can see me. And then thirdly, oh, by the way, my Canon EOS T2i, which is six years old, maybe they make them smaller now, uh, it doesn't fit in between there, so it's a no-go at all. Last but not least, the electronics are supposed to go in this little pocket right down here. And in uh, Isaac's video, he shows the board and the a battery, a 1.0 battery, which is about half the size of this, fits in there with the PCB and all the wires. My cable management is terrible, but even still, I don't know how you do it. 
You made it to the part of the video where we do the Windows Raspberry Pi remote control. Let's turn it on. And now the long, long hello. Hello. Oh, it's Windows. It takes a while. The tingling means it's working. So I set the app as the startup app, and it's the controller app for the, uh, for the slider. So you connect, you auto home it, you set the desired, send to the device, store it, set the desired, store it, move back to the front if you wanna save you some time if you uh, change the speed, and then execute. You see the status up here, device message listing. You gotta wait for that in this version. So when it starts up, auto home, yeah, we wanna auto home. We want that guy to go to its home position. Go home. Oh, look at that. It's working. There's the plant that we're going to videotape. With us auto-homed, we're zero, 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 and we're centered on everything. So we're going to pan this guy left. About that far, we're going to send to the slider. Click. Oh, he's turning. Yeah, so that's probably, it's a wide angle lens, whatever doesn't matter. So I'm going to store that. Store. Boink. Now Isaac's code remembered this position. Now I'm going to update from the device just to make sure that the, uh, the Raspberry Pi desired and actual is in sync. And now I'm going to drag this all the way to the left. I'm gonna send that to the slider and he's gonna move. Whoa, notice that the pan is not panning yet. We're gonna do that as a second step. Oh, very nice, very nice. I'm gonna update. Currently this uh, version of Raspberry Pi code needs this uh, update from the slider. Boink, he's noticed that thing at the top changed. Yep, and we're gonna pan. All the way to the right. Now we're gonna send to the slider. Oh, he's he's panning. Great. We're gonna store this position. Store. Oh, nice. Now we're gonna execute. Execute. Oh, look at that. He's going back. I'm gonna turn the camera on. Can I do it all in time? Probably not. I'll just repeat it. The video you'll see is me doing this a second time. That's very nice. And that is the Raspberry Pi. So you can go previous and next on the uh, various, the various Isaac positions. All these are stored on Isaac's uh, Nano. And all this guy is doing is telling Isaac to go forward and next. You set the position, you store it, and don't forget to update position from slider. That's going to make your uh, various on-screen controls behave. And then once you have everything stored, you hit the execute button, and it will dutifully go back to the start and do its thing. Oh, look at it go. It's doing it at the speed, actually, that uh, I had said, and it's that slider speed for moves. Of course, uh, none of this right now is uh, gonna control your camera. There is a, I don't know, transistor thingy that will uh, control the camera for time lapses. If you were to put maybe your iPhone on there, you can modify one of these guys. This is what I'm planning to do. This is a little, Bluetooth shutter control. I'm gonna put a little jack in here. Thank you so much. Good luck. This is a great project to undertake and all of my source code is available over at uh, github slash Mr. Scott Fletcher. That's MR Scott Fletcher. Blessings and peace and uh, good tinkering to you as well.